Hey guys, I'm Ryan Hall. While the game last weekend was a matchup none of us expected, it definitely made for a very memorable homecoming. Shooting from the west patio of the Melton Student Center, I'm joined today by Kate Preston and Sarah Adamson. These two girls are friends to many, and they truly define what it means to be an Auburn student. Kate, Sarah, anything exciting going on today? Yes, it's a beautiful day on Auburn's campus. I'm super pumped for this weekend versus LSU. It was awesome. Yeah. Earlier today, outside, Avi was driving around on a basketball player's scooter. He was literally riding around outside of the student center. It was kind of fun. For homecoming, we even had those parades. We had a lot of really cool pep rallies, or I guess there was one pep rally. Yeah. But yes. that was like really hype too. Mm -hmm. That was good. No, yeah. That was, was so fun. fun. And on our sorority, we had a top five nominee for this homecoming. So we were super surrounded by that whole not race competition. No, but it was fun to see them so in like all their platforms and get to like support. And you get to meet so many people during homecoming week just by like being on the concourse where everybody's in a good mood and like super friendly. And they got to work on um, all the sororities and fraternities. Got to like pair up and work on the flip for the homecoming parade, which was so fun. And ours came one second, which is oh yeah. So there we go. Yeah, yeah. That's what I hear. So how was the student section? What is y'all's professional analysis on the game? Honestly, was actually the energy was I felt high throughout oh, the game. It was so fun. I was very really impressed that even though we were down against Georgia State, the student section was actually pretty full the whole entire game. Oh, it was so fun. Yeah, the first quarter, everybody was so excited. You know, the first quarter, you're just so excited to be there. And then I won't lie, morale was a little lower second quarter. But then, like after halftime and after everything, it got so exciting. Like everybody was just so excited to be there, jumping up and down. The fourth quarter energy. Oh, it was unmatched. so unmatched. For sure. And it was even cool getting to see TJ Finley get a little playing time too. Mm -hmm. Him and Bonex kind of worked together. Oh, yeah. Um, and then after the game, he got up like where we were sitting at the game. It's like right in front of where the mic been and like Avi are. And after the game, he came over and he was like standing there. Showed us there. the guns. <laughs> he was flexing with Avi. Yes. And everybody was so excited. It was cool to see just like everybody kind of rally around like Auburn and the box. When he got on the mic man stage, it was actually an out of body experience. Oh, yeah. I think I almost passed out. I was like, oh my gosh, it's the superstar, <laughs> TJ Finley. Let's just start streaming. Yeah, literally. Well, Kate, okay, you said you were going to Baton Rouge this weekend. Yes. Yeah, I am. I'm so excited. I'm leaving tomorrow, and me and six or five friends were going, and we're going to cram in a little VRBO that we rented. Hey. It's about one bed, but we're going to figure it out, you know? And I'm excited to go down and get to see, like, I've heard of so many Auburn students who are going, so I think the fans will be, like, awesome on Auburn side just as much as LSU. Yeah, but hopefully get to see some, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe get some videos or something while in hey. Baton Rouge. It'll be fun. Auburn's are really, <laughs> really ready to show the show out in Baton Rouge this weekend. I think it's, I think it'll be pretty packed. It's going to be a good game. We, we definitely have traveled well. We've improved that at Penn State, for sure. Oh, yes. With editing those pictures. Did you yes. I was a little upset about it because I remember seeing, watching the game live and seeing so many spots of orange. I mean, so proud to be an Auburn fan to disrupt the wild. Oh, for sure. No, I remember having some friends that were like, I'm going to bring a shaker. They're like, I'm going to bring an Auburn shaker. Like, we have to. We can't let white out. I love the people who were wearing orange jumpsuits and they <laughs> yes. painted Auburn on the back. Yeah, I saw that. And that they good. were just truly totally disrupting it. It was awesome. And the edit photo. You can try and edit us out, you can. See how can't, can't take away the orange. <laughs> Do you have any final words of advice for our Auburn Tigers as they head on to Louisiana? Mm -hmm. If you hear people cheering in the stadium, it's Auburn fans, it's not totally. LSU fans. Totally. I hear they're losing their voices right now. They're mm -hmm. just becoming speechless. They're so they're scared, scared of Auburn mm -hmm. to come and disrupt them. Oh, for sure. Um, so, I would just say, I like keep that. your head in the game and know that the cheers are for the Auburn Tigers. Yeah. War Eagle. War Eagle. War Eagle. War Eagle. War Eagle. War Eagle. War Eagle.